karate, Muay Thai, which is better? We will get to that today, but first, let me welcome you to Shredded Samurai on YouTube, where we aim to synergize aesthetic-based training with actual combat sports training in a blend that should add value and enlightenment to all aspects of your life. My name is Samuel. I'm a health science student and martial artist, and today I have something really cool for you. Uh, we're going to talk about karate versus Muay Thai. Which style is better? And it's actually a trick question because I think it comes down to not what you train, but how you train it. Today I have three drills for you with my uh, friend and training partner, Donnie. He's a karate brown belt. He's a mixed martial artist. He's a great wrestler, has jiu-jitsu experience. Uh, yesterday we did some kickboxing drills, and I want to share those drills with you because if you have a partner, these are the type of things that will be able to take your defense and your ability to relax in a combat situation to the next level. Now, there are some things in this video that will help you, uh, things that you should do to improve, but there are also some things that you should absolutely not do. Uh, yesterday in our training session, I sustained an injury. I'm going to talk about why I sustained that injury um, and what you can do to avoid it. Now, our first drill that we have today is called the defensive shell drill. What you're going to do is take your boxing gloves, you're going to cover your face, and you're just going to work on blocking shots from your partner and then giving shots back to your partner so that he can work in his defense as well. Uh, the purpose of this drill is not necessarily to be super fight-like because in a fight, you're not going to want to take three, four, five, ten punches off your, your gloves before you counter. But if you can take ten in practice, hopefully you can take two in the fight and return with your own punches. Uh, without any further ado, Here's that first drill for you. Let me know. What did you think about that first drill? Um, a few things you should have noticed. We're both staying very, very tight. The tighter you are, uh, the less likely you are to take damage from strikes. Uh, a couple other things you might have noticed is the timing of the punches. We weren't necessarily throwing full power, but what we were doing is mixing up the timing. So maybe we throw a jab, jab slow, and then a fast two, three. Those type of things are going to make you a more dangerous boxer. Um, for our next drill, it's very similar, but we're going to add kicks. So it's a defensive shell drill with kick defense. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to block another series of punches, and at the end of the series of punches, we'll throw a kick, maybe to the legs, maybe to the body, maybe up high. 
we're not necessarily trying to slam them in or hurt our partner, but we do have enough trust in each other where we can throw them a little bit harder because we have so much experience working out with each other. Uh, if you've never done this before, I'd recommend start out so light that you couldn't possibly hurt your partner. And then as you get more comfortable, increase the intensity, continue to increase the intensity. And before you know it, you'll actually be a pretty formidable opponent. Uh, so here we go, that defensive shell drill with kick defense. the defensive shell drill with kick defense. Um, what did you notice about this one? This one's a little bit different when you're dealing with the kicks. You can't just block a low kick with your hands. What you have to do is raise your knee up or um, use some sort of other defense. And this is really good just to keep your mind focused at all times because when you're worried about the punches, it can be easy to get kicked in the legs or unfortunately even kicked in the head. Um, what you saw there, we had a few low kicks land, a few body kicks land, but thankfully because we kept our hands the whole time, there were no head kicks even close to being landed, which is uh, obviously the highest priority is protecting your head. Now for our final drill, we're doing what's called a kickback drill. This is to work on your muscle memory, uh, your intuitive reaction time when you feel a strike. What it's supposed to do when done correctly is, I take a kick off my legs, 
and I immediately return to my, po my partner and kick him. Uh, then my partner will kick me, I block it, and I immediately return and kick him. Uh, and this way, in a real fight, we're not going to be easy to kick. You can't kick us because whenever you kick me, I kick you back, basically evening out the score. Um, unfortunately, yesterday, things just got a little bit too wild. I think we are both having too much fun. Uh, we both enjoy throwing spectacular techniques, and because of that, uh, we ended up getting injured. Um, I'm going to show you that. This is a super good drill to work on, but just learn from our mistakes and uh, stay focused. Don't risk your health because you want to look awesome. What is see we were able to get a nice little exchange going at first but at some point uh, you can try and tell me when you think this was it just started to escalate a little bit too much um, you can see at the end my poker face and my uh, natural Muay Thai inclination to ooh, when a strike lands it's still intact but what you can't tell is how much pain I'm actually in. As soon as I felt his kick hit me right in my elbow, my arm went completely numb. And um, as soon as the feeling started coming back, the amount of pain actually left me speechless. So um, what happened? Why did that happen? Well, the main thing that this would have all been avoided if we would have done is wear proper protective equipment. As you can see, I'm wearing my shin pads, but Donnie doesn't have his shin pads on. Um, you can blame my ego for this one, believing that I'm so tough I can take uh, shins to the body and shins to the leg and be fine. But there's really, my elbow can't take a shin. So um, in a fight situation, it's impossible to really say who would have been more damaged by that, that technique. Um, it hurt his shin very badly, and I know it hurt my elbow very, very badly. So again, do your due diligence spend the $30 to get the uh, shin pads and actually wear them when you're sparring because you don't want to get injured in training because then you can't train. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a super fun one to make for me. Um, let me know in the comments below anything you thought about this video. Uh, think about subscribing perhaps. We've got so much other stuff like this coming as soon as this elbow hears up. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.